This is a demonstration of Easy Drummer from ToonTrack. Easy Drummer is a software drum library that includes a playback engine, which you see here as the user interface, and also includes uh, 1.5 gigabytes of drum samples that are triggered by using the software. Included with the software is a standalone application that can be used in, on both PC and Mac platforms, and also a plugin that can be used inside of a DAW. The plugin formats that are supported are VST, Audio Units, and RTAS. You can use the software in 32-bit mode if that's uh, if your DAW or um, operating system supports just 32-bit, or you can also use it as a 64-bit application if that's what your DAW and operating system support. Included in the software are a total of 7,000 different sound files of the different recordings of the instruments. So you have you have a kick drum, snare, toms, and cymbals. And these instruments were recorded at multiple velocity layers, so that means recorded when the drum was hit quietly and when the drum was also hit loud and, and uh, many variations in between. What that does is it makes for a more realistic kind of drum performance in the sense that if you've ever heard um, kind of the old sound of electronic drums, what, how it worked is there was just a single sample of a drum being hit and then it was just turned down in volume if it was played quieter or turned up in volume. What happens is the character of the drum isn't captured in a single sample. Drums sound different at um, when they're played quietly and when they're played louder. So ToonTrack sampled the drums at these different velocity layers and then when you trigger them by playing them with MIDI notes at the different layers then they'll trigger different samples. Also the drums had multiple samples at, at uh, kind of the a velocity range. So you don't have the same exact hit repeating over and over. So that's another thing that makes for a more realistic drum sound. You can, uh, as I mentioned, trigger these samples with MIDI and there are grooves that are included, MIDI files that you can use to trigger the drum library if, if that's uh, how you'd like to use it. Maybe you're not a drummer, maybe you just want to use some drum performances that somebody else has recorded. There are in total 8,000 different MIDI drum patterns inside, inside of the library that are, that's included right out of the box. You can also get extra MIDI grooves to uh, be used from ToonTrack if, if uh, you run out of ones that you like that are included in Easy Drummer. How you would load up a groove is just to click on the grooves library. You'll see over here. Um, the easy uh, drummer library is uh, right here, pop rock. And I'll just load one up, pop rock, grooves. Play one back. You hit the play. You can audition different ones just by clicking them. So for different parts of your song, you can do that different grooves and ones that have shuffle to them different styles of music, Motown even You can select different tempos, so you can do half time, double time. It works better for different grooves. Some, of, some grooves it doesn't work very well. The tempo of the grooves is in sync with your DAW host. So I'm using Pro Tools here, and if you set the tempo of Pro Tools to be a specific beats per minute, Easy Drummer automatically is in sync with that uh, tempo. Another thing that you can do with the grooves is turn the velocity up or turn it down. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. 
bring up a 3-4 groove, play it back. If you want the drummer hitting harder or hitting quieter, you can do that. Another thing that you can do, and I'll demonstrate it now, is you can drag and drop these grooves right into your DAW. So I have Easy Drummer inserted on an instrument track. You can just drag it in, and now you have the MIDI notes from that drum performance that you can see here. And if you want, you can build up your own drum performance of the MIDI grooves. Drag and drop different ones in, just like that. Another thing that I want to mention is that Easy Drummer can be triggered with an external MIDI device. So let's say that you're a drummer and you have e-drums. You can use those e-drums by uh, via MIDI going into your DAW to play back Easy Drummer. You can also use a keyboard if you're a keyboard drummer or any MIDI device that can create MIDI data. So that way you're not limited to the, the MIDI files that are inside of Easy Drummer if you feel like being more creative or want to come up with something for your song. Let me go back and show you here. So I was just showing you the stock or kit uh, that comes with Easy Drummer and that's initialized when you first open the plugin. However, there are also multiple drums that you can choose between. So I'll sh show you this one. Here's one snare. I'll show you a different one. So you have different sounds that you can achieve depending on what your song calls for you can do that you have a couple different crash cymbals hi-hats and then ride so you can mix and match drums to achieve the result that you want finally I want to show you the mixer in the mixer you can control a level of individual instruments. So if you want to turn the kick drum down or turn it up, those are the mics that are recorded close to the instrument. You can do that. Same with the snare drum. And you have a hi-hat mic, the tom mics. So it's the, the idea is to make this very similar to what it's like recording uh, an actual acoustic drum set in a studio. You can control the, the overhead uh, mics and then also the room mics. That's all I really wanted to show you. Easy Drummer is a very simple library to use, as the name would suggest. It's easy. It uh, sounds great. You can even expand it with different EZX expansion packs from TuneTrack. Overall, I think it's an essential product that every studio should have.